Sitting at home. Ah, oh, shit. Not again. Looking for my video game. Ah, oh, God. All right, guys. Welcome back to Video Bros. Well, no. This time it is Zombie, Zombie Bros. Bros. Um, I'm gonna delete this save file because uh, this is our second attempt of recording this. Since the first time, my fault. I didn't select MT2S as the type of video file for this. So, we've recorded two hours of nothing. So, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. And, uh, I'm not sure if you can hear me very well, but that's because I'm a little bit far from the mic, but I mean, I, I have to deal with it because, you know, two chairs and my bed, it's fine for me, whatever. Sean's here, so if he What's has... up, bitches? Sean, you remember the first at last? Yes, it's been a while. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Did, uh... Did you, uh, ever want to do anything with Atlas 2 with us at one point in the future, too? Because I want you to see how scary the game yeah, is. Yeah, sure, sure. And I'm like, my brother could not yeah, even finish that game. He was telling me this game is too fucking scary. Well, yeah, I'm down. I mean, sorry, too freaking scary. I, we can't really swear anymore because otherwise the videos get demonetized because they're hey, guess not what? advertiser friendly. Listen, nothing, oh, ever, nothing advertiser friendly anymore. Guess what? I'm going to demonetize this right now. Black, black, black. Yeah. Oh, I'm, well, we got demonetized. Oh, How do you well, feel? So fuck you too, YouTube. Because someone in a video, <laughs> I forgot where, but someone commented on a video saying a video of theirs got demonetized just because the word black was in the title of the video. What? And it was about shrimp. It was a video about cooking shrimp. It was nothing to do with black people. What and the, the YouTube shitty algorithm... That's like... ...just made it seem like a racing. It's like, okay, demonetize. This isn't advertiser friendly. That's like, that's like saying... That's like going on a cooking show and being like... Well, first you put the shrimp in the pan. Then you gotta, now you gotta season it with some black pepper. Oh, no. You can't use this on, on anywhere now. Half of anything we're reading this game is going to get this whole series is demonetized because <laughs> it's like, swear. That's what I'm saying. You can't do anything, so it doesn't matter unless you're whitelisted. Yeah, that's true. Which I don't think we're ever going to get whitelisted because we're not famous enough and we're not celebrity. We don't have celebrity power and we don't. And we're not like Markiplier or PewDiePie because PewDiePie can, can say whatever the hell he wants and not get fucking demonetized. Well, I can say. Fuck it, catch! Then, uh, yo, yo, censor yourself. It's okay, I'm gonna cut that part out anyway. Don't worry about it. We're I was already, quoting it's... something from a podcast where Nolan said the N-word, and then everyone's like, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, buddy, relax, relax. Alright, so, I'm gonna read this. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking that right now, but seriously. Fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. The fact that when we did this the first time and that whole entire thing was just a, was just a call back to YouTube's dumb um, what do you call algor algorithms? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that what you were saying, like, the plot of this whole story is? No, like, that whole thing right there, and like, well, that's YouTube right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're hurting people, and they're making money off of it. There's so much mispotential. Wait, what? <laughs> when we first recorded this, there was so much mispotential material that had to be scrapped, because the video, and this is my fault, I will take full responsibility for this, um, I didn't select the file that I need for it to be of the file type for the video, Although the audio recorded fine, the video, it's like, didn't save at all. So, it was a corrupted file, and I couldn't do anything with it. And so, we recorded two hours for nothing, and that's why we're re-recording this. And I'm like, damn, there were so many things we talked about that was missed potential for the friggin' series. I also, at, at least this is one thing I'm glad about. In the original session, I didn't play through the remake on 3DS of Mario Luigi's Superstar Saga. You did, and you started it, and were telling me what you like about it so far. I beat the main story, and now I'm playing Bowser's Minions, so we can actually share what we think about the game if you want to talk about them. Even though this that's not a horror game, but I mean, you were talking about it in the first, yeah, first so attempt for this session. Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga... Plus Bowser's Minions. Plus Bowser's Minions is a remake of... 
the original Mario and Luigi Superstar, Superstar Saga. Superstar Saga. Like, now, yeah, on Game the Boy only Advance. thing that that, like that I, I learned recently that this game does not have, and for obvious reasons, because there's no way to do it, but apparently, if you take the original Superstar Saga and you plug it into a Game Boy player on a GameCube, Game, GameCube yeah. you can play... Which I have. Which you can actually play... Kind of, if you want, it's optional, because it's not like a feature that's built into it. It's just, like, you plug in two controllers, and this guy starts, like, banging on the window. And, you know, things happen. But, you can apparently play two players with two, two game controllers. It's optional, so one player can be A, and the other person can be B. If you want, from one can be Mario, one can be Luigi. And also, you can, um... Apparently, there's a rumble feature built into the game that's only supported by the Game Boy player. So that's something I've never tried out, so it doesn't like affect me in any way for this remake. Because the DS, 3DS, and did not have rumble feature or two-player mode. So that's okay. But besides that, everything about this game is way better. The game, I feel, is slightly easier. But... If you want it to be even a lot easier, you can put on the easy mode. If you need help beating certain bosses or doing certain puzzles, I think. I don't think the puzzles make a difference, but... I mean, they're, I guess, easier. But, I mean, that's about it. Some things, well, in uh, the original, I found challenging. In this remake, I so actually the, was having not as much of a tough time with them. I actually found them a lot easier. And hello, creepy guys sitting in the dark. Oh, shit. Um, one thing I did find out from gaming, from Did You Know Gaming? This whole scene is a metaphor for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet YouTube doesn't know that. <laughs> it's just ironic. But anyway, you were saying, Jeff, I mean, unless you want to read this. I mean, yeah. at least, I mean, uh... They have the, we have the subtitles for reading. I meant pay attention to like, what they're saying, though. Well. Yeah. But I mean, no, we can, you can go back to what you were saying. So, um... I found out from Did You Know Gaming because I didn't because because they you know talk about the Mario and Luigi series as a whole, but they talked about Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and I didn't get that far in the original game, but I got way farther than I did playing the the remake, and I'm way way farther now. But apparently, if you get to um, Tiki Valley yeah. at the end of it, and you have to fight the, the giant rock monster, I forget his name, Trunkle, Trunkle. The actual thing that's cool about this is, like, all the stuff is upgraded. Like, all the graphics are, are redone and upgraded, of course. No 3D uh, effect, though, at all. So don't turn that slider up for this game. Hmm. You can do whatever you want, but you know what? It'll have no effect. Exactly. It's, but, not, it's not like Metroid Sans Returns, where it makes it everything pop out and look crisp and clear. It just doesn't do anything, because it doesn't use the 3D feature. But, um... So it's a perfect game for Canada. The one thing that people didn't like yeah. about this game that people have said, though, is, like... Crazy beginning, right? Sure. Yeah. Apparently, there's... Like, he's doing messed up shit against his will. He doesn't want to do this shit with his job, but they're forcing him to. So he's just like, all right, I want to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to do this anymore. That's so, going to be me in, like, five years on YouTube. So kind of similar, it's like, now you just want to quit and get the hell out of this place. That's going to be me in five years on YouTube. Kind of similar to the original story, except... It, you're not a reporter, you're an engineer. You work with, like, the security and shit. What'd you say, Jeff? I said that... <laughs> oh, yeah, in five years. In five years, it's gonna be me with YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're just gonna chase after us and have psychotic people chasing us to try and kill us. Get back here! We need you! The only thing we got left is our Google platform and our phones. <laughs> anyway, so, um... People have said that that, that that certain changes are, are a little weird for the for the, for the graphics in the game. Yeah, as, I can agree with those. As like Bowser's minions, not the actual storyline Bowser's minions, but but in the story for the um for the main story, yeah. all Bowser's minions are reverted back to their original standard Super Mario Brothers series um, graphics in the sense where it's still in line with the Mario and Luigi series graphics, but. They don't look. They don't have armor. They don't. They don't look like Bowser's um, minions at all. They just look that's, like regular Goop Koopas. That's one thing that regular Goopas and regular regular whatever else Bowser has in the game. Uh, I want to read this. I fucked up. Oh God, where am mm. I? Hours could have passed or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made we watch the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. 
Lisa, it's Lisa from PT. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Exposes the truth. Lisa, baby. I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. You done fucked up? You screwed the pooch on that one. Anyway, you can go back to the stuff about the, the mo character models, which I agree with you. That is one thing that kind of bugged me. Is like I mean, it didn't change the gameplay at all, so... I no, it's just like a graphical thing. I understand that they were trying to do it, because I guess maybe they were trying to make it in line with like, hey, the buddy, Amiibos. Can you unlock this door for me? I guess they were trying to make it in line with the Amiibos, because I guess yeah. cause this is from the Mario Super Mario Brothers series, Mario Party 10 <clears throat> Amiibo series. But, um, also what I found what I found out, though, is, like, when you have to fight Trunkle yeah. in Tiki Valley, in the original game, the mushrooms that he, or the, or the, or the stuff that he, that he sucks up to attack you with, and the mushrooms do help you, um, that was part of the original game, too, right? What? Where, when you fight Trunkle, and he tries to, like, suck up things from the background, to come after you like tumbleweeds or oh yeah no all that was kept intact yeah but the mushrooms helped you too right yeah they accidentally will give you mushrooms sometimes so it's like hey they're giving you a chance to eat in this game though which oh, I did shit. Which I did like those like they didn't use like different mushrooms for that um for that um what do you call it for that fight they used the original like they actually used the mushrooms and the poison mushrooms from the, um, the items that you have, meaning if you have a super mushroom or you have a poison mushroom, it, they look exactly the same at the item in your in your um, inventory. Guy doesn't look too happy. I wouldn't be too happy either if I got stabbed in the chest. Not him. The guy's doing the stabbing. Yeah, but that's like one thing that kind of annoyed me. It's like just as a graphic blessing, because I like seeing the different, like, designs of the Koopas in the game. Like, with, like, certain outfits they would wear, and it's like, they just look like regular Koopas. They kind of look a little, like, bland. One thing that, that Brendan did say, though, that, they, that he told me about yesterday, which is a pretty cool idea that I actually know how to do. Oh, yeah. And it's not even that hard to do at all. No, it's actually, it's pretty basic. I saw, I saw, oh, shit. I, I saw, I saw, about you. I saw a funny-ass video on, on YouTube about this also. You tell me like you, how if you wanted to make like custom amiibos, and the custom amiibo would be like Bowser's minion, but like the, the amiibos you get for Bowser's minion do that? and Bowser's minion. You locked yourself in the kitchen. They actually locked me, and I'm like, okay, well, good for me. I'm not going back that way. Hey, at least you know where to go now. Like the last time, you didn't know where you're going half the time, and you had to look up a guide. That's why the session was like a half hour longer than it needed to be. I got pretty far, and it's like now I gotta start over. Fuck, I was pretty far. But now you know where to go, so you don't. You can skip a lot of stuff. So right? now you gotta go find which way town is. Yeah, exactly. Back the way you came. But what were you saying? Uh, um. So Brandon gave me the I idea of a custom so. amiibo. Oh, where yes, yes. if you um, if you use either, if you haven't played the game, it's not really a spoiler though, because it it helps you out because Nintendo doesn't make it clear enough to you anyway, unless you play the game. So you're looking to play the game and you want to get the amiibos. The amiibos are still available. They're cheap still. They're not like scalpers are not getting them and selling them on, on eBay or Amazon or wherever. I'll feel safe. Unless you, unless they're like taking them and selling them again for like as custom amiibos, for, like just different mm. stuff. Yeah. Then that's okay because I, I I understand that. Well, yeah, because that's custom like built stuff. Yeah, but well not built but like. Cheap. But if you get the amiibos, if you get your hand on the amiibos, you can get. The except for the boo one, the boo one is hard to get because the game is compatible with the. Um, it's not even that it's hard; it's just expensive. And it that's came what out over a year ago. That's what I'm saying. Then they don't make it much anymore. That's why. But you you can get the boo amiibo. You can get the the goomba and the koopa. Now. Oh, battery. The Ooh. koopa and the goomba will and 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 the boo amiibo will give you a golden captain for each character, meaning you'll get a captain golden. Um, blue, a Captain Golden Koopa, and a Captain Golden Goomba. Now, just so you, you want a little head start in the game, um, yeah, and you can't you can't use them after three missions, which is okay. But until you the like Goomba, the first three missions, if you wanna if you wanna have an easier time playing this game at, at the start, the Goomba has four is a level four already. The Koopa is a level seven, and the Goomba and the Blue is already at a level ten. So, if you want to use the blue, 
as your captain. He's pretty cool because the blue will actually allow you to, um, what's it called? His special ability in the game allows you to evade, meaning you, like, you know how the, um... I have the regular boot captain you unlock through normal means of the game, through Bowser's Minions, and he's, like, my highest level character next to my golden Goomba, and he's really helpful with his evade ability. Yeah, the golden one is a little bit better, though. Yeah, it's stronger. Course. They have better stats. That's the thing why they're so special. Yeah. Miss Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville Co. in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. That's me. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consulting contract 8208, resigned due to a previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally div visited... Uh, Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Heist Jackers will be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney she should could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false mm. pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Alright, so as I was saying though, now Brandon's idea, and I saw this video on YouTube after Brandon told me about this, so I was like, let me just look it up really quick on how you can make like golden amiibos, yeah. right? So IGN apparently made a video about how to make golden amiibos, and I looked it up. It was like a parody of everything, of like, uh, it was like a parody of like, all you gotta do is very simple. Go uh, go to the store and buy an amiibo. Next, get your golden spray paint and spray that thing with gold paint. Remember this part took me forever to figure out how to climb up because I was stupid in the first attempt to record this. Yeah. That just shows how incompetent I am. Like IGN's video was so hilarious when they did it because like all you have to do is just spray your amiibo with gold paint and let it sit there. Now put it back in the box and slap. A poorly made sticker that said limited edition on it. And there you go. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Because hmm? Sean's like, then you can make a quick buck. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Because anybody will eat up anything that says limited but, edition. Oh, uh, yeah, that's very, idea, very true. Brand's idea was, and I actually have a bunch of ideas that I could do with Amiibo now that I thought about it, too. I did that with the special edition of Metroid Sans Returns because I really love the Metroid series. And I wanted to give them more money to, ga to the game to help boost the sales so we get more Metro games in the future. And I'm like, it, it was totally worth it because I have a free CD with the game. Exactly. That uh, I can listen to on my phone at any time. I thought to put that on my um, with tracks, on my iPod. Multiple tracks from the series. Uh, just in general, Metroid series. Not a specific game, just multiple games in the series, including the Prime games. Um, and it's really cool. What I wanted to also say, though, is that the, for, the, for the Amiibos... Brandon's idea was to make a golden version of each captain. Oh god, I didn't notice this the first time. Sean, look at this. Is that blood soup? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Delicious. Gross. It needs more salt. <laughs> it needs more brain. No, it needs more Krabby Patty grease. Oh yeah, look, there's a butcher right there. We didn't really look at that when we first recorded for this. Did you get what I said? Yeah. Yeah. It needs more Krabby Pedigrees. Yeah. That episode is so disturbing. See, see, look at the... That's disturbing. That is disturbing. I think a little kid playing this game would get nightmares. And also, it'd be like, well, why is a parent going to let their kid play this? <laughs> Yo, Brandon, give me back my death note. <laughs> give me my notebook. I gotta explain that to Jeff. Um... One of the... I think I might have told you, though. One of the Shimigamis in Death Note in the anime, not the movies. Um, Sido was, in the American dub, voiced by Sam Vincent, who you may recognize as Double D from Ed and Eddie. And hearing him say, like, towards the end of like, the show to, like, this bad guy that, like, has his Death Note and is using it, he's just like, are you gonna kill someone? And it's just like hearing him say this, and it's, you hear Double D's voice. It's oh, wow. It's so distracting. And you just hear Double D talking, like, Double D, shut up. You know what you should do? What? You should play this game and just run around while you're trying to scream. Like, you're trying to scream, but you're really just smiling and laughing. 
<laughs> I need you to watch the movie just to see how bad it is. Despite I, is there are people that did, there what, the death note movie? Just even though we haven't seen the source material, you need to see how bad it is. There are people that haven't even watched Death Note and watched the actual like live action movie that was on Netflix and said it was terrible. It's <laughs> my cousin Dom's one of them. She said she watched it only because she saw it was like a horror movie, and she thought it was terrible. And she laughed hysterically at the part where Nat Wolf crying and screaming like a little bitch. I really think he would look that scary. At least in the actual anime. Um, I mean, he looked a little off, but I'm not going to say he looked scary. No, see, I think, look, in the original, like in the original source material, Light kind of expected it happening, but he was still scared, but not like a little bitch. Hey, I'm back over here already. You came back the way you came. I remember this part, too, and I took a while figuring that out, remember, Jeff? Yeah. And this time I jumped right over, but I probably missed a battery or two. But I don't care. And you came back the way you came. I did. <laughs> oh, so, keys. This is for that, that handcuff before. Guess what I got an email for today? What? I found out that my um, Sonic Mania vinyl record is being oh, hello. just uh, finally shipped out. Uh, you're creeping me out. Your Final Fantasy 15? No, my Sonic Mania vinyl record. Oh, I don't know why. I, you said vinyl? I thought you said, like, final. Like. Yeah, just put Cloud or Sephiroth inside fucking Sonic Mania. Oh, battery. Yeah, I actually. If you're able to convert that to a CD, I want to put that shit on my phone. Um, at the time of Miss Cho's termination, the psychomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients has been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-firm pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying their non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off to the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider necessitated secrecy and a motivating factor for their reassignments in terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Miss Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court ordered FOI release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post dated, providing emulating information while securing the relevance secrecies of the project. Please advise Ethan Sarisk consultant MM214 Sarisk Conendra butchered that name yeah I totally that name that's exactly how I feel um oh I'm back by that psycho so are you ready to yeah Go see Samurai Jack tonight. Uh, oh yeah. fuck yeah! I've been excited for a long time, and by a long time I mean like almost two months. I can't believe they're actually doing. I'm not. I'm not expecting this to happen. Me neither. The Blu-ray release, I was really hoping they would do, and I'm like, if that ever happens, I'm buying that shit, and I am buying that shit. I'm getting it tomorrow. A day after, we're seeing it in theater, which is tonight. By the time this video is up, it'll... But it's just the original, theory. like, it's not not even anything remastered ex except for. It's, it looks a lot better. It's in HD. And the uh, interview from Gany Tarkovsky, so it's like the first. I hope this isn't like what we're gonna go see right now. Like I, like I understand you bought, you bought the the um the Blu-ray the Blu-ray collection, but I hope it's not what we're gonna go see in theaters. No, what what do you mean? Like the first three episodes are gonna be remastered? Yeah, but it's I mean like the whole the whole thing though. Whatever we're seeing in the theaters is what's gonna be on the Blu-ray also. I'm pretty sure it will be minus the interview. <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa, get the fuck out. The guy kind of looks like the guy from, um, PT. At the end of it. No, not PT. Resident Evil. I was gonna say Jack. That's his name. Resident That's so e weird. We're talking Sarah Jack, and then <laughs> Christian's girlfriend's baby's over Jack, and then that guy you're talking from Resident Evil 7's name is Jack. Remember when we, um, when we played Samurai right, Jack for the show? Oh, yeah. That was our 800th video, and th this'll be our 900th video, because we don't really have a special yet. For but what we're gonna do. Remember when we tried to, when we tried to like do something and we tried to hit the chicken? Oh my god, and the chicken turned gigantic for some reason. <laughs> we were just like scared shitless with a giant chicken. Because it was chicken. weird. <laughs> we never neither of us have ever played the game, so we were in for a surprise. I only yeah. do that with games now because like when I like whenever I, cause I used to play Crash Bandicoot and the, and the funny thing you used to do was like try to hit the chicken in the first level. And like the chicken would either like just die. And it wouldn't give you anything, but it was just cool to do it. So I did it in Samurai Jack, and the chicken just, like, fucking exploded and turned giant. I was like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, it was way too weird. I like the game. I want to get back to it at some point, but I'd have to restart where we were f the whole thing because of me having upgraded my PC since then. Ah, hmm. uh, God and family. <laughs> Father Clark, far be it for me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your <laughs> working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for your patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know when we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. What is this, Bojack Horseman? Ah! Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the death and necessarily chaotic nature of hypotherapy, hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family, not all of our pro poor unfortunates that families call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work, DBNR, Dr. Newhouse, MD, May 20, 1961. And you were saying, Jeff. What was I saying? Oh, Samurai Jack. Yeah, the game with the giant freaking chicken. <laughs> I don't ever want a giant chicken to ever come up to me and, like, do that shit to me. Unless I'm playing some weird Door of the Explorer game with a giant chicken. First of all, why would you ever oh, be playing so a game with Door of the Explorer? Because I could. Just to see how bad it is. Oh, you know what's funny? Well, the show I remember was pretty bad. I know a lot of people, like, will say it's easy to say that about a kid's show, but... Uh, it's pretty bad. No, so you know what's funny? One of my professors for this semester, his name is Dora. Eh. Is he, is he Dora and does he wear a fedora? It's a she. And well, she's a horrible teacher. Does she wear a fedora? No, but I see what you did there. Nice pun. Does she have a backpack that eats all your items up? <laughs> yeah. Or is it a gay backpack where it's just like... Mm -hmm. Go on, go on. Stick it right in there. Never mind. Mm -hmm. oh. You're yeah, man. You're... I know. I'm thinking about the gay mailbox. Oh, hello, Wall Rider. You're thinking of the gay mailbox. I know. Um, speaking of movies that we're gonna go see, are you also are you excited, Brandon, to go see well, the Pokemon I am. movie? I am, but I don't know if Sean's in. He's not really a Pokemon fan. When is uh, this movie? Uh, November 5th and November 6th, so it's two days only. Well, we're gonna go see it the 6th because no one has time to go see it at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, Let's shit. See. What's with all these movies, like, just coming out for one day? Because oh, it's well, like, because, like, they're all anime. movies are guilty of the same thing, to be fair. Like, the ones I have, the one that I haven't seen in the theaters, but I've still watched them on, online. Like, Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball, Ball Z ones. Like, Dragon Ball uh, Resurrection F. Mm -hmm. Did the same thing. It only had like it was only in theaters for like a, d a week and a day. That's eight d uh, eight days, and it was from August fourth to August twelfth in two thousand fifteen. And this was like a week or so before. I think it was a week or so before. It was sometime before the actual anime of Dragon Ball Super started. I think that's why, because they wanted just to get the like the plot of the whole thing, and then they take took parts from that movie and put it into Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, they also wanted to fix the mistake that was Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> now I still have to catch up with Dragon Ball Super. I watched the last episode that was on. Because GT was like the black sheep of the entire series. It's like the bastard child of the Dragon Ball series. That's why I care or. Toriyama. Uh, Toriyama didn't really give a shit. Like, he literally didn't care anymore. He was like, yeah, after, we, after Dragon Ball, after Dragon Ball, this, he like, didn't really care about the series. He did it just to plead the fans, but it was like, he didn't care. Yeah, I remember we talked about this for a while in the Sonic Mania videos, and it was in, like, one of the first videos that I realized got demonetized because of not being advertiser friendly, and it was because you kept dropping f bombs every five seconds. Wow, America! Well, I'm dropping to... the black word now. Black. black wow, America! Black. Try to censor us. Pretty much. If I'm gonna just... censor. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That's why I'm... people have Patreon, so it's like they can have freedom of what they say. Yo, you know what I should do? Make their money from Patreon. I have an idea. I know how to get back at YouTube now. We should just copyright Deadlock like what Jim Sterling does. No, you know what we should do? I know how to get back at YouTube. Copyright Deadlock's hilarious. We should join... We should all make, make our own separate YouTube channel, right? Like, yeah. Like, just make our own separate YouTube channel. Don't have to do nothing about it. And then just join the YouTube Heroes Partnership Program. <laughs> and then flag the videos of the YouTube CEO. <laughs> 
seven, influencing human behavior. E, the potential of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as it might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared, sorry, to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Note, Jade Lawler, April 15, 1958, present of the above McCultra excerpted technical services division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernick, asset four, I mean 14866 and Project Wall Rider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. See note 92387 H.S. Berlin, 6th September, 1938. So, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.